Hey, what's going on YouTube? Okay, as the title says, why I stopped prepping. If you think about it, the whole prepping lifestyle revolves around trying to acquire as much stuff as you can. You know, the whole purpose of prepping is to acquire all the goods and tools and everything so that you can be pretty much self-sustainable or at least you can uh, have the same quality of life that you have right now today while everything's normal than you, than you would have if like uh, some sort of disaster struck, right? And really, that type of lifestyle is mostly geared towards someone who owns their own home, uh, their own property, or uh, retreat cabin, or something like that. You know, if you're a renter in the city, or, or you know, basically a renter anywhere, um, you know, that, that, that kind of conflicts with being a prepper. I mean, if you're renting an apartment somewhere and you're bringing in truckloads of, you know, canned goods, and then some, at some point down the line, you know, your lease breaks or something and you got to move, you know, it becomes a real hassle. And I'm just oversimplifying stuff with that example. So, Specifically to me, um, I stopped prepping because of two main reasons recently. One, in the last nine months, I've actually moved five times. Yeah, it's been pretty crazy. Um, and along with the fact that for quite some time, I haven't had consistent work. And that's uh, another big part of prepping. And I, I know some people will probably dispute this, but uh, the truth of the matter is, if you're serious about prepping... It costs a lot of money you know if you're gonna put back supplies and gear and tools and all this stuff it costs a bunch of money um, and right now I I'm working pretty good but it's all my money is going to basically the essentials and just getting by so the fact that I don't really have a, a definitive place of my own and I am still somewhat nomadic at the moment um, along with the fact that I haven't saved up any money and don't have a lot of cash to be spending on stuff that's really why I consider that I've given up on uh, prepping and why I've stopped prepping um, which is actually in itself it's a bit misleading I think when people get the prepping bug and they see everything that's going on in the world and they're trying to prepare for stuff once that gets inside you I don't think you could ever really just stop um, uh, maybe if you're like a heavy drinker or a partier you could just stop but you know whatever uh, but what, I, what I'm trying to do at this point, I am trying to really think about the most efficient and like the, the best kind of supplies you could prep for being a bit more, let's say, mobile, let's say. And I'm not talking about bugging out. I mean, bugging out is great, but when you bug out, you have to go, you have to have somewhere to bug out too. So, I mean, it's easy to put together EDC bag or get out a Dodge bag and, and just, you know, throw a bunch of gear in it and then say, oh, if anything happens, I'm going to, you know, go here. But you really have to go, have somewhere to go to. And, uh, and even then, you know, there's so many scenarios like, okay, right now, basically where I am, I'm in New Hampshire and I have a fairly small vehicle and I've got about two or three vehicle loads of stuff and I'll call it garbage, but a lot of it's actually not garbage. A lot of it's useful stuff, but it's just stuff. So I've got two or three vehicle loads of stuff, and if I needed to bug out somewhere, I mean, there's no way, if it's a real bug out situation, there's no way I'm going to be shuffling back two or three times with my car to move all this stuff. And, uh, you know, what if that's assuming that I would even had the gas to bug out wherever I was going and that it wasn't 500 miles away or whatever it was. So when you really start cons to consider all this stuff, Again, if you, unless you're, you have your castle that you're fortifying to bug in, a lot of it doesn't make too much sense. Anyways, I got a little sidetrack there. So the point that I'm at now is I'm trying to focus on prepping in the sense of teaching myself some serious skills. And that's the, the switch of my focus has been lately. And I'm not quite sure where I'm going to drift to. At first, I was thinking of like EMT, emergency, rescue type of response, but the fact of the matter is, I don't really do too good 
with uh, with blood and wounds and all this kind of stuff. I'm pretty good under pressure, but that stuff, I don't know. I guess that's why I never became a doctor. Uh, it just doesn't sit well with me. I have some post-traumatic stress from a couple of things, and it's just, it just that kind of stuff messes with my head. So I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of some other stuff to learn, but my again, my point is I'm trying to focus on skill sets that I can learn and take with me rather than stuff at this point. And even the skill sets, it's a double-edged sword because pretty much anything you learn, if you don't practice it enough, you're going to forget it. You're not going to be too good at it. So, you know, I don't know. The whole prepper thing, if you're not locked down in a good spot, it's a pretty tough nut to crack. I guess I'm going to leave it there. Video is getting kind of long. All right. Later, YouTube. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster.